I will provide you with a short description of the product's features and continue on about how to create a bootable disk. There are two different editions of ActiveAt Boot Disk. The first edition starts in a DOS environment which combines six powerful DOS tools that let you recover your lost data, restore deleted partitions, reset Windows passwords, make raw disk images, and securely erase data. There is, of course, access to a DOS prompt which enables you to run DOS commands and your own DOS programs. The DOS edition is ideal for older systems with limited resources. Very little system memory is required to start the DOS operating system and most older hardware is detected in the DOS mode. The other edition starts a lightweight version of Windows Vista directly from a CD or USB flash drive. It does require a minimum of 384 megabytes of computer memory and has the impressive ability to run any portable Windows application. Using the built-in ActiveAt products, you can make and restore disk images, recover your lost data, restore deleted partitions, reset Windows passwords, securely erase data, manage partitions, and a hex editor for those of you who prefer low-level disk editing. Here is a wide list of useful utilities for network connectivity, a file explorer, on-the-fly loading of drivers, CD-DVD data burning, hard disk diagnostics, and much, much more. It's clear to see that with the Windows edition, the sky's the limit. In this interactive presentation, you can click on the DOS or Windows icon, and I'll show you the step-by-step -step process of creating the boot media for that environment. Okay, you've chosen the ActiveAt Boot Disk Windows Edition. The ActiveAt Boot Disk product can be placed on a CD or USB flash drive. With the Boot Disk program installed, either media type can be created. Insert a blank CD and start the Boot Disk Creator utility. In the main screen of the Boot Disk Creator, Click on the Windows Edition. You can now click on the media type. Again, a CD or USB can be used. We'll choose the CD in this example. The CD ISO image path is located in the field automatically. Take note of this location to use your own CD burning program. Select your CD burner from the pull down list and click on the Create button. The burning is in progress. The CD will automatically be ejected when burning is complete. The disk is now ready to be used for booting a computer.